We'll see. It's been a while. The only reason why it's been a while is because this game is kind of hard to set up. And, um... But yeah. Capture card games are always a... a kind of a ramp to, to get started. Uh, but I'm going to let the intro play here because it's been a while. this I I um, didn't have the uh, the mic on but my impressions of this game were pretty positive I've spent 18 hours of, on this game and I'm still well not 18 hours um, I spent many hours on this game and it feels like um, it really feels like I haven't even broken the surface I'm wondering how many chapters there actually are I also noticed in my past streams the audio, the in-game audio was really really low for some reason so I'm hoping it's better this time. Um, I'm just gonna get set up with a couple of things before I go forth. This is a sh super short stream just before, just before I have work and stuff. Make sure I've fully put this out. Now, yes, hello, Rain.
Okay, we're good to go. So... This? I don't know if this is the right save, actually. Now... Oh, it must be, because we got Fee. One other problem with playing PS, uh, PS4 games on a capture card without a television is that there's a lot of input delay. It's not huge. It was worse when we first started playing this game because we played it without the update patch and it caused a lot of problems. But it seems to be working fine now. So if you'll see me like kind of overstep my boundaries a bit, it's just because of the input delay. But thankfully this is an RPG, so I I'm not too worried about playing it. If I was playing something like Horizon Zero Dawn, um I would have to come up with some kind of solution for that game. I may just get another screen then I can at least um, time my inputs a little bit better. But for now we're playing this game. And so far we've met back with a couple of familiar characters. Um, if you were around for when I was originally playing Cold Steel 2 for the first time. That was quite a while ago now. Um, so we got Fee. She has long hair now. Um, also in that same line of thinking is uh, Elliot, who is uh, a proper, like, musician now. As if he wasn't before. And then I think we found Laura last time, which I wasn't expecting to see her so soon. But I think my favourite character I've seen so far is um, Sharon. Is it Sharon? No, not Sharon. Um, uh, Shirley. Sharon is actually a character in this game, but I haven't seen her yet. I'm assuming I'm eventually going to see her, but yeah, I was referring to Shirley. But I do want to finish this game eventually. I want to try and put more time into this game and clear it out before... Well, it's not gonna be before the new year now, that's just impossible, but... I do have some games I do wanna start playing, but I'm gonna finish my backlog first. I think next year's gonna be all about finishing games I have going, and then starting some new ones. So we have something... But why? Why is this a thing? What? Why? I feel revitalized. Why was Laura? Why was Laura talking? Did did Reen go in there with her? I I I don't even know. Is Kurt? This game is very, um, well, these games in general are very, um, exposition heavy. And I'm not talking about exposition that's just all doled out at once. It's very, um, it's very, uh, spread out, but there's still a lot of it. Like, they tend to go into detail about very minor things, which I think adds to the world quite a lot. But I understand that it's also not everyone's thing. So here's Valimar. Um, this is Reen's uh, robot. We still don't even know where it, how it was made, but it was found in the endgame dungeon of the first game. Yeah, he doesn't talk like a robot anymore. So yeah, in this game there's like 
mm, like separate battles from the the normal battles that you encounter in the game and they are well they used to be one-on-one -on -one mech battles but it seems like you can have multiple party members now so i'm not sure how that's gonna work out the, the combat in the past games though was very very simple his uh, teacher Russell and Mint. I don't remember Mint very well. I vaguely remember her. I think she was one of the students in uh, in the Thor's Academy. Tita's much the same, she's, uh, I'm trying to think of the, is it like three, four years from Sky? I, I, I'm not, I'm not hugely familiar now, but I feel like the game audio is still too loud. Turn it down slightly, so we'll see how we go. somewhere. I don't think he's here now. It's Randy. I like Randy. So of course I don't know where all the hidden quests are in this. And it's not something I really want to know until I beat the game. I kind of like that realization of what I've missed and then it gives me an incentive to actually do a second playthrough. feels like I need to know more because obviously where I've I've played the beginning of Zero and I've not played um I've not played uh Ao Nogaseki so seeing Randolph get to that point and him just saying oh that's my cousin um I don't know it's very anticlimactic the way they introduce it in this game you kind of have to have that prior knowledge. I feel like that's one of the, the, the big things about this game in particular is it's just... Or about this series in particular is that even though the games don't specifically require you play them in a certain order, um, if you play some of the newer ones you definitely do miss something. Anyway, we're going back to St. Ark for some reason. I can't remember why. Submaster Quartz. This is something I kind of wanted to find out about because um, this is quite a big mechanic. Yes, I do want second quartz. Oh yeah, I think I remember something about Reen. Uh, he didn't want to bring his students with him because he was like, oh, it's too dangerous now. You can't come.
So I can set someone else's master quartz. Unfortunately, there's no raven anymore. We've got Zepho. That does give us speed. But it doesn't give us, um... Gives us speed and it gives us chrono drive, but it doesn't give us, like, uh, haste on start. Sirius is pretty good. Regulus. Oh, we might go with uh, Regulus from Laura because it gives CP when taking damage. And he's probably going to be taking a lot more than anyone else. Killing enemies restore CP. We're probably going to be killing a lot with Fee more than Laura. We'll give her this one because with Kaleido, um, we'll get some extra Sephiroth. And I'm gonna put Fee on Brigid because I think she's gonna be killing the most enemies. I think for Elliot I'm gonna give him Deva because when I originally played Trolls of Cold Steel 2 I gave him the ability to evade magic which became really really helpful against certain boss fights so I think I want to abuse Deva. Uh, so we're running out of choices here but With with Yuna being the tank that she is, I think I was gonna give her Sirius, but thinking that I'm not gonna build her with a lot of evasion, probably um, we'll probably give her Zephyr just for now. Kind of running out of choices here, but I'll give Kurt Cannon and I'll give Altina Scald. That will work for now. Okay, so we can't detour, unfortunately. Who am I picking? Well, most people think I'm gonna be picking Fee, but the reality is... But I'm Zephyr! Hello, Backslash. The reality is, I'm gonna be picking Elliot, man. <laughs> Go, Elliot! I don't think it's gonna matter anyway, because I think we're just going. I don't know if we can even detour. It's, it's weird the game gives you that choice, though. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> you leaving already? Must be tough having to spend your whole morning running around the Empire. Well, that's a government job for you. So, how's everything going on your end? <laughs> I can't say nothing yet. But... Seems like a lot of stuff's starting to overlap. 
I see. Man, I sure am glad I recommended you here. Well, here's hoping you find a juicy clue or two before your field exercises are over. <sighs> Keep walking, straw man. <laughs> it seems like several threads have become entangled. Also, the little game being played here in Sutherland has reached its second half. But what if I nudge things along a little? I don't get that girl's deal and I don't like her very much either. She just I don't think she's I don't think she's uh a bad guy in particular. I just think Oh, I don't know. She's more a schemer than than a bad person, I think. I think the game's trying to set it up, so I think that she's that way. But I think she's just a weirdo. Mr. Uh, Tobel. So yeah, this game has like, uh, it has the same problem the original Cold Steel had and Cold Steel 2 had, where the, the, the voice acting is like really spotty, but I'm mostly used to it by now. scouting session right before your graduation. Good to see you too. Sounds like you've got your hands full with the teaching gig, huh? Nah, ain't no biggie. Besides, we got Fee last year, and she's more than enough of a catch. But hey, you ever change your mind, door's always open. So, I didn't express this too much in a lot of places yet, but two days ago, um, they actually announced what the next Trails game's called. And I can't remember it off of the top of my head because it's Japanese words. Um, but the... the I looked at the screenshots of the game and it's pretty... looks like it's still in this kind of game engine that they've got going. Um, and Reen's in it for some reason. I have no idea why he's still in the next Trails game at all. So I don't know where they're going with it because it's... it's uh, supposed to be... Uh, like an interchangeable story for what it looks like? Because Reen. <laughs> like, Reen is one of my favourite characters from the Cold Steel series, but Reen is not a lot of people's favourites for, uh, for, for understandable reasons. And, um, yeah, it's just really interesting that they've kept him on for a while. I'm actually gonna... Grab the name. Which I, I spelled it totally wrong. And um, 
I got completely wrong results. But it's quite cool to see the Bracer Guild back in this game. And the fact that Reen was pro was gonna would have ended up being a Bracer, but Giliath Osborne got in the way. Which makes me think he might become one by the end of this series, maybe? I love how the flashbacks of low polygons. That's amazing. Literally screenshots from uh, a PS Vita game. Wait, how far did you get in this, Merger? I'm still on chapter one. I've been really slow on this game. This should be honest the the reason why i've been so slow on this game is it's literally just just work oh you're replaying you're replaying the game from the beginning is that so you can refresh where you are oh yeah you're playing the um you're playing the ps4 versions yeah that's great Did you see the news about the new Trails game, Smasher? Because I did. Yeah! I like the way you think. I saw one picture that I kind of consider a spoiler to me. Because I think it was the Grandmaster. Like, I'm pretty sure it was. Hello? Oh, it's you! Ah, uh, there he is! Took you a while, Agate. <laughs> Had to take a little detour. Hey, it's the sky. Hey there, Mr. Ashen Chevalier. No, Reen Schwarzer. Didn't expect to run into you again like this. The same uh, voiceover for A Gate and Charles in the Sky, but I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. years ago. I was right earlier on. Heck. <laughs> I didn't mean to say keck, I said heck. Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> <laughs> I get the reference. <laughs> Schmork tells Schmork what to do. <laughs> they gotta be in the forest so you can lead them there and, and do a dungeon. AOD. Guess what game I own now? I bought two games and I really want to play them but I can't yet. So, in the, when I finish this game, and I do eventually finish 
Shadow Hearts Covenant. I'm gonna be replaying, though I've, I've never play, played it through on stream, but I want to replay uh, Tales of Zestiria. And if if you realise why I want to replay through Tales of Zestiria, you'll know why. <laughs> He's like, ah, Zestiria. I actually kind of liked Zestiria. I thought it was okay, um, but no. No, 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 I, it's because I got Berseria, and I want to replay Zestiria before I play Berseria. <laughs> yeah, I do. But I want to replay Zestiria first, because I, I, I did enjoy that game. I really did. My only problem with that game was the game part of the game. The game part of Zestiria is fucking awful. Like, it's really, really bad. <laughs> I, l I like Zestiria, man. It's... It's... <laughs> I... If, if Zestiria didn't have Mikleo in it, I probably wouldn't care very much, but... I'll tell you one Tales, uh, uh, Tales game I don't care about is Tales of Graces F. That game bored me so much. If you want a, if you want a bad, uh, Tales game with good gameplay, Tales of Graces F is has like the best gameplay, but like the worst story ever. <laughs> Where's the end sub button? <laughs> <laughs> My problem with Grace's F is Richard and Sophie. The Richard and Sophie thing. R Richard is. I don't know how many people have played Grace's F here, but Richard is literally the most stereotypical villain. And the way he becomes a villain, just, I don't know. I just thought it was very, um, uh, Cheesy. I'd like, like, here's the thing. Tales games are really, like, hammy and cheesy, and they're, they're cheese and ham sandwiches, basically. But for some reason, I get that, that bitter taste of cheese when it comes from Grace's Earth. I know he isn't. I know he isn't, but. I, I really like Sisteria, man. I do. I don't know, here's the thing, I think the reason why I like Zestiria is because the first uh, Tales game I actually finished was Symphonia, way back in the day. <laughs> I like caramel and cheese sandwiches, you can have, have it now and again. Um, but I played Sinfo Symphonia was my first Tales game, and I loved it. I thought it was good. It was very cheesy, but I liked it. Um, and then I didn't play a Tales game until Grease is Up. I think I was like browsing on my PS3 for a Tales game to sink into. And I just randomly picked Grease is Up, started playing it, and I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine. I really liked the combat and it was great. Um, but I found the story a chore to get through for some reason. And I don't know why. But like the actual gameplay loop of Grease's F is amazing. Like it's so good. You can power through that game on the gameplay alone. Um, but the story, the story hurts when I try and take it seriously. You could say the same about Zestiria if you want, because it's it's the same like thick cheese, but 
the villain, that's the villain. Oh my god, my words today. The villain so like is obvious enough where I don't know. It is the way it's delivered. There's just something weird about it. Anyway, we got some tasks here. Great forest monster. And we got the North Southern Highway monster. People kind of knew that for ages, though. People, people have, like, uh, people guessed that from, I think, Sky Third. Wow, I wasted my- No! No, I'll never say that! Okay, so the things I- The thing I didn't like about Sisteria is I thought the equipment system was way too complicated. And I didn't understand how to gear my characters at all. And the characters kept talking about it like it was the easiest thing in the world. But I just didn't understand it. So I kind of like sort of like chugged through the combat in that game but the story I actually kind of enjoyed and if AD is right about Basiria I'll probably like Basiria twice as much but that's the reason why I if I want to get into Basiria even more on a first run I need to remember what Basiria is all about like I need to have that fresh in my mind when I'm going into Basiria. Alternatively, I could play Basiria first and then Zysteria, but I think Zysteria would be anticlimactic. So I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of don't. Also, my cat wants to leave, so give me a moment. <laughs> and he is gone. I know, yeah, I know Basiria predates, but Sisteria still came out first. They were still expecting you to play Sisteria first and connect dots. I know that doesn't matter so much now. But the other thing is, I've already played Sisteria before, so it's not anything new to me. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be a while off before I start because I want to also finish Shadow Hearts Covenant if I ever find the time to do that. Okay, thanks for dropping by us, Measure. I've got to go to work myself in like an hour, so, well, I don't leave in an hour, but I need to start getting ready in an hour. Um, did I accidentally turn on like a- oh, I turned on high speed mode. How do I turn that off? Okay, somehow I turned it off. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. But I do do want to check it out and play it, because I feel like I'm about ready for a a, a replay of Hysteria now. Because I like I liked it quite a lot. But I always I always play a Tales game expecting it to be cheesy as hell. It's the same reason you would like sit down and watch a B movie. Uh oh yeah, I can just like warp to places, can't I? I can't remember how to play this game now. Be a pony. Right, let's go. I don't remember. Oh, Elia actually stays. Heck. Yeah. 
have to move chat slightly here so I can still see it and Elliot horse. I thought that was just gonna be like a temporary thing, but no, All I right, can't... let's go. I I need this horse to like go here. There we go. Cause I wanna There! I don't wanna do that. Got us a secret leave all along. Yeah. <laughs> what? I passed by here with the students just yesterday. What will? What will huh? set it you apart? You worry about them, Reen? Is they're good kids. I look forward to seeing what they bring as the new class seven. What we'll set it apart is if there's a justified reason for it, other than, oh, I'm testing humanity. If it ends up being that, I'll be really disappointed. Arcus, activate! My turn. Let's go. Let's go! Second form, scale! Had to use that crit then. What a pain. My turn. <laughs> I'll handle this. Perhaps we got. We do have the S craft. It's my turn. They are really hard now. An I opening. think that's because of the um, secondary courts. Just what I expect from you, Laura. I believe that's my line. Yeah. You know what? And even no matter what, I, I'm still interested to see where the story goes. Yeah, yeah. They Let's haven't lost me yet. If they started retconning stuff, I I would be gone. But they Second haven't form, yet. Everyone okay? Bishop. False. Danger levels high. Watch out. I need to use orders more. Zephyr Wing. Hey, that's the best move in the game. Um. Minus 50% delay for 8 turns? What? Damage plus 60% for 4 turns. Defense... 30% damage reduction for 12 turns. Wait, is that a regen? Instant casting. I feel like there's a lot of ways to break the game. Make here. it quick! Zephyr wing! A week to water. Artur Tuna I can't pronounce that name. Artona Leaker? Tona Leaker? Um I've never played those games. Oh, I can hit everything there. Uh, My turn. Let's see what we got. 
There is delay. But that's not enough. Sneaking mission. Start! Let's Turn go. That code. I have no idea these people and their their names. Yeah, I want to take that bravery point. Ready? Huh? Ha! You're done. My turn. Arr. Right. Yeah, these guys are broken. It's a little bit gimp though because all of his stuff is casting mostly. Um, is this? No week to sleep and nightmare. Ring into the night. Nocturne bell. Yeah. Let's go. I feel like I'm missing a reference <laughs> about that game. <sighs> the, 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 uh, <laughs> there's something I'm missing there. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as it's not like super weird, I don't mind. This game has already done a little bit of that, and I was just like, yeah, steer away from that place. I thought one and two, ex uh, two and three exist. That's one thing I really don't care about in games. Like, like RPGs with like costume DLC, I never buy them, because I just don't care about them. exception to things like that is well it's not a game there is a game of it now but uh kill a kill I kind of overlooked that because of how um how fun the series was It's the best Jaeger call. A certain pair of braces from Liberal. I have no idea who those are at all. I don't actually know if they show up in the same either. I wonder if uh, I should um, resist the temptation of looking that up. Stop teasing us, Trails! Give us best girl! I know she shows up in one of these games. I think... I don't know if she actually shows up in this one. I know she definitely does in Cold Steel 4 though. 
like in the Cold Steel 4 demo, um, I think you could play as her. Like I'm pretty sure. But if I had a favorite character in the Trail series, I think uh, I think Estelle is one of my favorites. Like the most easily the most relatable character in the series. I don't know if I've seen Ren already. I may have seen her. I'm not sure. But I like Estelle because she doesn't rely on ridiculous superpowers or whatever. She's just... She's just a slightly ditzy girl. And she responds to people in like the most realistic way possible like just a normal person would and i love it easily the best character and the best written character in the series like you can like reen and i like i definitely like reen um but reen mostly gets by with um with the power of power basically Oh, they have- I, I've seen in-game models of them. I definitely have. Yeah. The power of power. <laughs> We're going this way now? Apparently we are. Oh, what's that? It's following me. Is that a- I don't even know what that is. It's like a moth with a teeth body? I could be Finish mistaking it. No. Okay, I looked at that the wrong way. I thought the legs were like- I guess it's supposed to look like that because it's like an illusion or whatever. Commencing retreat. No, I don't want to run. They're cool. I like them. Um, moth throws. They're weak to pretty much everything except for delay. Yeah. If there was gonna be the same character, it would be boring. Um, that's why I like, I like Lloyd. I like Lloyd too. Lloyd is a completely different character. Ready? Huh? Ha! You're done. It's down. Keep it up. Lloyd is a he's a cop. It's my turn. <sighs> I'll handle this. I do admit that they kind of throw it all on you at once in the beginning or well at the end of Trails of Cold right. Steel 1 but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Also since these are weak to Nightmare, I'm gonna Nightmare him. Ring into the night! Nocturne Bell! My favorite part of these games Let's go. in the combat is just never letting your opponent get a turn, like ever. Not allowed. Activate. This My dude turn. has nightmares, so he's not gonna wake up. And he's gonna take damage every time it's his turn as well. Now. Keep it up! <laughs> we had a good harmony, huh? Mm-hmm. Good rhythm too. So I've about half an hour more I can play of this game. Hopefully I don't get locked into a really long cutscene because that would be bad. Um, also I'm going the wrong way. I need to go back this way. I don't usually use the horse because I like exploring. Sit. Huh. Oh man. Sit. Let's take this chance. Let's start with...
delay. Oh, actually, that costs like three. I probably shouldn't. I'm gonna use this one. Let's go! Raging fire formation! Because I'll help build our CP up as well. I'm up! Venom flame? <sighs> I'll handle this. Yeah! I'm a bit worried about the next game because I feel like there's gonna be too many characters. It's turning Bring into it's the night. turning into um Chrono Cross. Nocturne Bell! With the amount of characters there are. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thankfully though, with with these characters, they're not one note. Like they do have some much to them, but I feel like as the game goes on, they're gonna get less and less development. I think I'm gonna just slash this guy. Crimson Slash! I don't like things getting turns. Everyone okay? Gold, heck yeah. I don't want that turn there, that BP zero turn, I don't want that. I would, there's so many things I'd rather do. Ready? Huh? I can't kill this dude. You're done. Quickly enough, I'll have to just run. It's my turn. Huh. I think we're good it's there. It's down. An opening. Just what I expected. I've not seen that enemy before. Yeah. Let's take this chance. Let's use, uh... Let's go for full damage this Burn, time. Burn, valiant heart! Cypher Edge just has a chance to flat out kill. Let's, Let's try go. and kill him. Yeah. Now! No luck. Keep there. it up! Hey, I tried. Let's go! Second form, Gale! Now! An opening! I'll handle this. Now I can I can still nightmare everything. This is insane. Oh, I can't use that gun. Well, we'll just try and sleep them then. Good night. My turn. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> Whew, threat eliminated. Sheesh. Do our best. They've made all the delay moves like cost so much more now. Ready? Huh? Ha! 
You're done. Oh, I don't like that turn. Are you okay? Thanks. I'm up. I'm going to run because that next turn that Elliot has, I Let's do not back. want it. Um, Keep moving. So I'm running. I don't want to have no bravery points. It's not worth it. That's a big boy. A powerful foe. Ready yourselves. There. I can't. I can't like hit him. Take this. big attack. I should have used. Let's go. I don't know if I could have used Altina there, but. Oh, we've got max bravery. We can, um... What do we want to do right now? I want to see how broken this ability Harmonize, is. Blue Orchestra! Let's go! Let's, um, let's funnel Arc lower. Disactivate. Let's go. Whoops, I don't need to do that. I do want to lower this dude's defenses if I can. I'll handle this. So that's red, a uh, red strength yeah. buff, so that means it's the highest it can go. To, to fire and wind and water, kinda. Are you okay? Thanks. My turn. So I can lower his strength to defense with this attack. Right. Hmm. Got it. I think he's immune. Uh, half immune. It's my turn. Do the crit thing, I see. Fear. Behold, the soul of our sage. No. Ah! It fainted. Now. Fair enough. Um, too bad I couldn't hit it in that time. What is it weak to? I can be confused. But I don't think I have the stats to do that. Okay. Sneaking mission. Stuck. Fear. Does that actually work? The the speed. Oh no, it doesn't. It's my turn. I tried. I guess I could use Reen, but I don't think he's gonna. He's not gonna cast Forte in time. Uh, so what I could do is give the. 
damage order. Burn, valiant heart. I'm up. I don't know if I have any items that increase damage. I don't. Um. I try to when when I'm constructing like story elements for a story, I try I try to take a footnote from the old Trails games, and I think that's why some people think the beginning of my game is boring as hell. And um I I wanna be I wanna take liberties with how often I do dramatic stuff. But I want simple stuff to seem important too. This thing is about to break. We got plus 60% damage. I'm gonna see how much this thing hurts. My blade, calm as still water. Now! <laughs> Seventh slash! Fallen leaves! Hmm. It's it. broken. It still has a lot of health left, though. It's down. Keep it up. Hmm. Got it. Exterminating. It's down! Keep it up! This thing is angry! Wow, okay. Um... I don't know what Alec can really do. He doesn't have his really OP healing ability now. His <laughs> are always angry. Oh man. I don't know what Elliot can do, to be honest. Arcus, activate! Not in my watch! Oh wow, he actually lived? Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. He has one HP. So what's Laura gonna do? She's gonna just hit it. It's got 2,000 health left. Hmm. Got it. Also, Reen can finish this thing off whenever he feels like. I can't lose. The only HP that matters is the last one. You're absolutely right. Um. Sit. Now, let's try rushing uh, this. Yeah. I am gonna put that in just in case, but we didn't need it. Just what I expect from you, Laura. I believe that's my line. Well done. So complete that quest. I actually thought that that the the boars were the the enemies I had to kill, but they were just a roadblock. Let's see what's down here. Oh, this is a fishing spot. Oh, I see fish I have in the so water. much trouble with this game because of the um the the capture there. delay, and it's a lot harder. Not a bite. This is promising. Very fiddly. You're not allowed to let the um let the arrow go into the red at all. Yeah, it so he away. just fucked off with my he just fucked off with my bait. There. Got a bite. 
This is promising. My god, I'm not making any headway with this thing. One more try. It got away. There. I hate I hate fishing in this game. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, straight away. It got away. Alright, oh we'll, we'll do that another time. It is! Absolutely is. I'm actually really good at the fishing minigame in that. I'm really good at it. Well, I, I say I'm really good at it, but I still can't really do the... Uh, I can't really do like those little uh, patterns that it always required you to do, but I still managed to complete the... Uh, com should I call it a compendium? Like the fish compendium that they had. All king size fish. I don't know if I still have my save file anywhere, but I did like a uh, hundred percent that game. Yeah. Now bring it on! Oh, Rena's uh, he, he's a bit raw. Huh. It's down. An opening! This is it! Well, wow. that Let's was go. censored. My turn. Just just hear Reen. Please, hear my song. Thank, Thank you. That's so nerfed. Unforgivable. Thanks. Let's go. Duh. My turn. Alright. Threat eliminated. I'm gonna have to. Shit. I'm gonna have to save up here now because uh, I gotta get ready for work. I know I've been streaming for too long. Um, 15 hours and I'm still on chapter one. That's crazy. Um, if I'm not dead later, I will stream again later. But that's only if I'm not dead. I don't get back till 10 o'clock at night. Um, well, I don't leave till 10 o'clock at night. I get back about, I don't know, like five past. I don't live too far from where work is. But I'm gonna finish here for now. It was good to get back into this game and I'll be playing it again, hopefully. Thank you as well. <laughs> hopefully fishing isn't so mean on me next time. Take care, guys. I will.